Hi everybody, Scott Card here with an AutoCAD uh, video for you today. Today I would like to talk to you about auxiliary views. And so what is an auxiliary view? An auxiliary view would be if we wanted to take a look at uh, something like this and we wanted to see it from this view. So uh, basically we would want to rotate it around and then tilt it, okay? And so we want to see it directly from here. Perhaps there was some feature on here that we wanted to dimension. All right, and so we have ourselves a CAD model and let's try to make uh, a dimension on that uh, angled face, all right? <laughs> Okay, uh, so what we have here is a triangular prism, as you can see, with a hole in the tangential face. And so perhaps we wanted to dimension this feature uh, on on uh, on this face. And so trying to do it, trying to do it conventionally is going to be a bit of a problem. So, for example, if I uh, grab grab a, a, a view, here we go. I'll take my base from model space, I'll drop this in, perfect. And if I were to say, grab this one, um, we can see that feature, it is here, and we could we could dimension it uh, and get and get a diameter perhaps by measuring uh, from, from this quadrant to this quadrant, but it doesn't really tell us where on this face it is. So I'm going to get rid of that. All right, so the next thing is that we're going to uh, create a construction line. And so I'm going to go in here to uh, create a line from this endpoint to this endpoint. And I'm going to take that line and I'm going to move it. Okay, so move this line out here some distance and I'm not too worried about it uh, all I'm trying to do is to create a construction line that is going to be parallel the next thing that I can do is I want to extend uh, this line out okay like so and then I can create a section view I want to create a section view of this part and so I'm going to go from here to here and I'll just set it here for now. Okay, so now that we've got our uh, part, we can highlight it and move it over to a logical position. And we can get rid of our construction lines. And these could be these could be moved out of the way. Right? We could we could, uh, for example, uh, extend extend uh, extend that view up and out of the way. And so I'm just going to leave these uh, here for now, but if we had have extended our construction line up out of our uh, paper space, then uh, it wouldn't show up, but that's okay. We're going to leave it there. And we can uh, either hide or leave this. It doesn't really matter. But uh, what we will be able to do now is to create some annotations. So let's grab our uh, diameter here. Okay, and we wouldn't be able to do this if it wasn't perfectly aligned. So if you try to create a diameter uh, dimension and it, and it's not working, it's likely because the construction line that you created, so this view line, is not parallel with the face. All right, and from here we can create some more dimensions. Let's do a aligned dimension from, say, the center here uh, to perpendicular here and we can create another one from the center to perpendicular here okay so now if if we needed we we'd we'd be able to dimension this that we know that we're 158.58 millimeters from this end and 83.19 millimeters from the edge and the hole itself has a diameter of 48.97 millimeters so this is how to create a uh, a auxiliary view to that's parallel with a face okay hopefully you found this video helpful 
If so, uh, give it a thumbs up. If not, uh, your constructive criticism down below is appreciated. And uh, talk to you again soon. All right. Bye now.